Hey what's up guys it's Murder here and today I'm going to talk to you guys about an auction house in Destiny. Now there is no auction house or even a like trading post whatever you want to call it. There is nothing in existence that has anything to do with those in Destiny. Now you guys are probably like watching this and be like well I watched the video to find something like that. Um, that's not the case. Uh, that I'm basically going to be talking about and giving you guys my ideas of how they should do it and I hope Bungie does watch this video and take some of these ideas into consideration because this is what me and my friends and even the community has come up to uh, basically to help uh, I guess bring the community together uh, but not in a way that's going to make everything seem cheatery like uh, giving like a low level like a legendary gun so he's like really overpowered you don't you don't want to do that or even give him legendary gear uh, just so he can level up really quickly after he hits level 20 you don't want to do anything like that so this is kind of going to support both of the categories I guess Bungie's needs because they don't want to make everything like really unfair and then the community's needs because they want to have a trading post or like an auction house something like that where the community can community can interact and create like an economy together so anyways um, I'm gonna start out with my auction house idea now when I say auction house I don't mean like straight up like auction house like how they have in World of Warcraft I think that might be a little difficult to do in this game but what my idea is what they should do is have one area in the tower that is dedicated to it uh, to be an auction house except how it works is somebody can put up an item a legendary item I don't think exotic should be up there just because exotics are a little too uh, high too rare to get um, but how I think it should work is in the auction house um, somebody puts up an item and they request for another item so how will this will work is let's say I want to put a legendary gun up for auction. I don't want to use it. I don't want to break it down. I don't want to dismantle it or anything like that. So you just want to sell it. Okay. Now what you should do is when you put it up on the auction house, you can put pick an item out of like a category or a, a, a catalog essentially of every item in the game. It doesn't necessarily have to be like every single item. Just like all of the items uh, that Bungie thinks should be placed into that area like materials anything like that so like let's say I had a really really rare gun that's a legendary and I wanted uh, let's say five ascendant shards or anything like that I could just request that I could put that item and I could put like how many of that item I would like now if somebody goes in there and sees that and make oh I have five ascendant shards I don't want and I want that legendary gun they can accept it and then the person that originally put it up on the auction house they will have to get a letter from the postmaster that basically approves it so they agree with like what they'll be getting uh, for like a finalized payment essentially. Now that isn't my auction house idea. Uh, I'm sure that I could talk a lot more about it. I just don't want to like keep going on and on about how I think it should work. Uh, I just think that's a really good idea. A kind of a way to for people both the community and Bungie to work together to make uh, a, like an economy in the game which I think would be really exciting and I really hope to have in this game eventually. Now, one thing I'd like to address is a lot of people are having a problem with Zer. He is the guy that uh, sells exotic gear on the weekend. Now, um, I honestly kind of disagree with it too because as soon, like, I always wanted the Surus Regime, okay? That is an assault rifle, an automatic assault rifle that is in the game that is uh, exotic. And I always wanted it just because I'm a more of an auto rifle person. And uh, once I saw it on there, I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to buy it. I did not realize that every single other person that has ever played this game will buy it as well. Now, I just think that basically, like, devalues um, the whole point of it being an exotic. Because an exotic is make only some people have it. Uh, it's really rare. It, when, it's not exotic when everybody can just buy it. And it's not even that hard to get strange coins anyways. Now, here's how I think you could solve that problem. Is what they should do every weekend, Xur will have three exotic engrams. Now, of course, the exotic engrams will ensure that you get an exotic. Um, it doesn't like it could be for any class, but it ensures that you get an exotic piece. Now, they could have three exotic engrams that you could buy at, with strange coins. Now, what I think it should be is everybody in the game can bid for those exotics. So basically, the person who bids the most strange coins can get that exotic. Because what that's gonna do is it gonna it's gonna make the people that spend a lot more time on the game and take the game more seriously that actually take the time to get the strange coins will be able to buy that piece of gear rather than just level 21 just getting enough strange coins over time and then eventually buying that pe that exotic piece of gear which I don't think is really unfair because then it levels them up really quickly and you didn't really even have to do anything. Now I'm not exactly sure if that would get out of control or not. Leave a comment if you do think it would get out of control or like any uh, suggestions that you would like to add to that idea now 
that's pretty much all I have for this video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about like my point of views and uh, what I think the auction house or trading post should be in this game. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please subscribe if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more things like this. So uh, once again, thank you guys for watching this video and I will talk to you all later.